I'm sure we started. Oh. oh yeah, I was about to ask we recording. What are you talking about with the 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 chiropractor people? I was like how like you ever watch the videos like especially on TikTok? Yeah. Like their necks like that's just so scary. Bro, I'm like obsessed with them shits, bro. I can't watch them. Like I cringe watching them. Really? Like they they have really the power to to kill you. Like they could really like crack your neck and kill you if they I, wanted to. I mean, technically anybody got that power. No, not really. You couldn't crack my neck if you wanted to. Like like if I was laying down, you couldn't just crack my neck and kill me. Like the like the willpower or just not knowing how to do you it. Don't know how to crack my neck and kill me, bro. But you, you try gotta... you could try your best. You're not going to succeed. Bro, if if like <laughs> you you really can, bro. But like I'm just saying like I want to go to a chiropractor so bad, bro. I don't. Really? Not for my neck. Everything else. Take it, like, my neck. Leave my neck alone, bro. Right. My neck is fine. I don't have neck problems. It's not even about neck problems. It's just like... I don't want to feel good in my neck. It's cool. <laughs> I don't need my neck muscles. <laughs> bro. <Pulls. laughs> hey, yo. Now, I used to really watch, like, freaking... um, What's that called? I used to watch hella uh, neck cracking videos. Like, every freaking... Every night. Every night on um, YouTube, I used to watch all the chiropractor videos for like hours. Why? I don't know. It was just you know what I watch? satisfying. You know what I watch at night? What? Not at night, but I watch the uh, Dr. Pimple Popper. I love watching those. Okay, that's disgusting. It is, but it's like, it's like satisfying at the like same time. Like pimple popping? Yeah, like blackheads, pimple popping, like cysts. I like watching all that. That's a dude? Like he just pimps, pops pimples? I mean, it's, it's a, the Dr. Pimple Popper is a, a, pimple, ah, Dr. Pimple Popper is a that's lady. A- <laughs> but... <laughs> But like I just I follow like like four pages on Snapchat that yeah. posts is like it's like it's like skin things but it's literally just pop, people popping. So is it like is it like people like send her videos of them popping their pimples? I think they just find the no. So Doctor Pimple Popper like Doctor Pimple, pimple Popper, Popper they like come to her and like get their pimples yeah popped. get their pimples pop and like, like back some, bag zits like it'd be like some like some of them be bad like oh like, like really like, fat like, ones yeah like cysts and stuff like oh, that. oh that's nasty but the pages i follow so i guess it's people that post pimple popping videos yeah and they just like get a compilation of pimple popping videos and then oh uh, ew, that's disgusting it's so satisfying though. it's really nasty though it's not as satisfying like, as back cracking bro no you just like the sound like but like the visual like i'd be thinking like like yo, like he just killed that dick. <laughs> bro, there's one. Where I watched Bobby Lashley do it, and I was like, oh, like, bro, no Bobby I, Lashley. Yeah, like, All right. I saw you know Cali Muscle. There's like a YouTuber. He's like a he's like a uh, bodybuilder. He got his neck cracked, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, that's weird. But like they they had this one shit where they they put some, it looked like they could kill you. I ain't gonna lie. They that's what some, I'm saying. I, I know exactly what you're you talking about. Put around about. the neck yeah. and they yank them. Yes, yes. I'm not that, doing. Bro. No, we're not I doing that. that I, I, with my luck, I'll be the nigga they mess up and kill. <laughs> no, no, that's a oh. good. That's a good point. Or They're, paralyzed or some somebody shit. Somebody low key might have like died off. That's that what shit. I'm saying. I need or a good paralyzed, one. bro. Like I'll be that nigga. I'll be, with my luck, I'll be the nigga that they fuck up. Now I'm just stuck like this. You like stuck in like like paralyzed and shit. Yeah, with some wood. Knock on it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, welcome back to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number 39. And you feel um, me? You know what I'm saying? Hosted by yours truly, DW, and I got another one of my members. You know, the uh, member. The best member. Ah, here we go. More controversy. <laughs> Niggas gonna be fine over each the other. The best but. member. You know. You know what it is, you know. Corey Petty, T-Neck. You feel me? Two rings. You wanna see these joints? These should shine. You feel me? You want to see these joints? He's been waiting to bring this for like... You want to see these joints? Ever since the podcast started. Want to see these joints? This one say back to back because I got two of them. You feel me? Does it say your name on it? Yeah. This, <laughs> you feel me? T could stand for multiple things, but right now it stands for T-neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, so you're from T-neck? Not at all. No. So wait, I won why, championships in T-neck. Wait, so why didn't you go to the other high school? Was it Dwight Morrow? I wasn't going to do it tomorrow, bro. Why? Because you knew like they they sucked. One, they sucked. Education really not that great. I but mean, I didn't I didn't care about education. I mean, I mean, I'm lying my ass. I didn't care about education. I went strictly for basketball. Bro. Oh, okay. So you knew Teenek was good at basketball. Yeah, I got like I wouldn't say I got recruited to Teenek because I didn't get recruited to Teenek. It was more like I used to go to open gyms with the point guard, and like I knew I was transferring. I knew I was leaving Lachlan. Oh, so and it was like, damn, like where where am I gonna go? And then last minute, I was like, damn, I guess we're going back to Lachlan. And the day that I, like, went to pick up my uniforms for Lachlan, the dude hit me. He was like, yo, you want to come to T-Neck? What, the coach? Nah, the dude, the, the point guard. Who was it? Ja. Oh, oh. And he was like, yo, you want to come to T-Neck? And he was like, I was like, yeah. And then, like, we stepped in me with the coach, and I was like, yeah, I'm coming. 
That's tough. Literally one day, like right before, like the day before school, I decided to go to Teaneck. And like your dad already lived there and shit. He lived in Englewood. Oh okay. Oh, no, use the address. Yeah, they, they can't. They can't find me now. Yeah, I use the address. One sixty six Robin Street. Is a random address? No, nah, I mean my dad knew the address was. I have no idea. Like if you told me, like yeah, tell me was one sixty six Robin Street is. You would like, never know. <laughs> never been there a day in my life. Oh my gosh. And I never spent twenty four hours in a full twenty four hours. I never spent in Teaneck. So no, I'm not from Teaneck. So I'm saying that shit. Hey, bro. I never spent a full twenty four hours in Teaneck. <sighs> I'll find some, we'll find some loopholes. I'm going to still say Jack and T-neck, bro. I mean, I'm jacking these rings, you feel me? I'm yeah, just, yeah, yeah. You Did you say you went to high school with that one dude that's like TikTok famous? Which one? There's multiple? I don't know. The one that went to Michigan. Oh, Adrian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to, I went to Bishop Lachlan with him. I played JV with him. Oh, was he yeah. nice? I mean, he's in Michigan. Yeah, oh, okay. Read. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you feel me? I, I mean, so he was a shooter. So he's in our grade. Yeah, he was a shooter. He went to Michigan all four years. Mm-hmm. Mm. Honestly, I don't. I mean, I don't want to knock on him. Like he's good. He's good. Obviously, he's at Michigan. He's good. But like, I didn't like remember. Like, I don't remember him being that good that he like, he, would get, he would get Michigan. But obviously, he probably got connections. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I don't. I don't. I didn't follow him after I left. But like, he, oh, yeah. he might have got way better. I don't know. Yeah, he's a, he was a shooter. That's really all he could really do. Oh, okay. Shoot, shoot. Hey, bro, you making bread on TikTok though? Hell yeah, making like his views and everything. He get like what a couple mil every every uh, TikTok, right? Yeah, at he least don't fo- he don't follow me back on TikTok. It's cool though. Dang. <laughs> you, think, you know, I'd be thinking, I'd be thinking like a lot of like famous people come across like our podcast and just don't say nothing. Just don't say nothing. But they see, they know our faces now. I hope so. Andre Drummond do. Yeah, I'm not. You, I'm, I don't want to jinx it. Yeah, we'll see. That's a that's it? a nothing about Andre Drummond people. That's a that's nothing. It's a surprise. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> chill, chill, but if you haven't already, follow us on TikTok at No Regular. Join the Discord, yo. Oh, yeah. I, forgot. I keep forgetting about to say just Discord. Join the bro. Discord, yo. I'll be, I be looking. It'd be the same people. Join the Discord. Maybe new people. Do it, maybe. Yeah, there's a couple. I, I think somebody just joined. I, I can't check. I just wanted to chat, bro. Like, you just had to move my moment. Oh, bro. my fault. Go ahead. You can go again. I can cut this out. Join the Discord, man. <laughs> Join it right now before, like, I come in your house and slice your, your neck and stuff. <laughs> no, you can't say <laughs> Yeah, we, we monetize on YouTube now. Oh, you really? Yeah. So you get paid now? Not yet. It's like there's like some weird YouTube threshold shit. My my gaming channel is monetized on YouTube. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, but that's tough. I don't I don't post it on the video boy. How many views? How many subscribers you got? Uh, like maybe like what fifty. <laughs> <laughs> how the fuck is it monetized? I have no idea. I po- I guess I post it so much. Oh, like, I, I, I like I post a hell of videos. Like I, I would get bored. Like so, I, I clip things on PlayStation, and then like I run out of space. So like instead of deleting it, I'll post it on YouTube and then delete it. Oh. my PlayStation, so I just have hella videos up on my YouTube. I think it's weird. I, I, I like my clips, man. <laughs> I work hard on my clips, bro. Hey, bro, I respect it. But yeah, follow the Discord. It's going to be linked down below, all that good stuff. Follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. We're at already 152,000 followers on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Follow us on IG at No Regulars.podcast. Um, follow all of us. Follow, you know, I'm going to put all the links to our descriptions all down below. And follow all the, what are you doing? I'm trying to have the view in the there's camera. no way they're gonna see it there's no yeah real? it's all right you can't see it you, you got to put it on your hand buddy i feel like you can see it you can't it just like it goes like past don't go past your chest oh don't yeah what the fuck all right <laughs> <laughs> nigga tried it um what did i say oh follow us on all podcasts and platforms at no regular po- no regulars podcast on google podcast apple podcast and spotify and on Apple Podcasts, all my Apple Podcast listeners, if you want to write us a review, it'll be highly appreciated because, you know, that brings into the algorithm and shit like that. And um, is there anything else I mentioned? Oh, yeah. Merch coming real soon. Oh, logo's already out. Let me know how y'all like it. Merch coming soon, probably at the end of the month. That's what we're going for. Coming out with shirts, uh, shorts, and trucker hats. You know what I'm saying? Design's coming out real soon. Website going to be out real soon. We're going to be up, man. You know, this summer, it's a no regular summer, bro. We taking over the summer, you know what I'm saying? But you feel me? You're just gonna fuck the summer up. You know, just hating on me because I'm coming up. <laughs> you know I mean? we took our first no regulars Polaroids. Oh, you want me? You it's yeah. the same exact picture. I don't care, bro. Show you, yeah. bro. The first no regular Polaroids. You feel me? Gang it's nice. That's nice. Like we about to drop the hot, the, the hardest album oh, the of summer. 2022 summer. You feel me? And hey. we about to get in the stool for real because I got bars. You don't want to hear my bars, but I got them bars. I don't want to hear them either. You bugging? Me. <laughs> <got bars. laughs> but. I want to start. I was about to wear my Rutgers jersey today. 
Oh, you got that. Yeah. I, I was, didn't get mine because, you know, I yeah, didn't no. play this year. I was going to get it. But I want to talk about basketball because, you know, it's the finals, bro. Warriors in five. Warriors in five? Warriors in four. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Tom, you hear that, right? Warriors in four. You think so? Do you believe, honestly believe Warriors in five. I okay. believe Warriors in five. I think that I want the Celtics to win. I don't. Wait, why? I need the light skin boys, bro. <laughs> I need the light skin boys to win. I don't know. I want Jason Taylor to win. He light skin? Nah. He's the ultimate light skin. The rest skin. of the team is dark skin. <laughs> I know. He's like the only, him and Al Horford, Al Horford not light skin. He's Spanish, though. Yeah, that's true. I need them light skin boys to win. My son Clay, Curry, Poole. They really are light skin. And Draymond is. Nah, yeah, that, He's the, the ugly stepchild. Nah, I'm not going to lie. Draymond might be the ugliest dude. Nah, he's not that ugly. It's ugly. Tony people. Snell? Tony Snell is really ugly. That man hideous. He's really ugly. Bo- Bo- Tom is really ugly, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we was talking about just basketball players? Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad. <laughs> hey, yo. Oops, oops. Jakai's ugly, too. My bad. We was talking about basketball players. Why are you coming bad, crazy about my, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> nah, but Bo Bo. No, no. Bo Bo's the ugliest person I've ever seen in my life, bro. That man's hideous. He's Yo, he, hideous is really the word. He's, I already got uh, a hella baby mom, mothers, though. Like baby mothers? Strippers. Do he really? I think so. That's crazy. I already got a kid from like a stripper. Do you really? I somebody, don't think somebody's, so. somebody's ex girlfriend or somebody's baby mother. I forgot who it was. You thought, Bo- you're, not, you're not talking about Paul George? Nah, yeah. not Paul George. Is that it was Bobo? That's crazy. I know some girl like like that's uh, disgusting. Not I want to say catfish. Not like she uh, what's it called? Like try to Britney Renner Bobo. Oh, that might be the same thing. But like she didn't succeed though. She didn't succeed. Uh-uh. Oh, okay, then no, I was talking about somebody else. Cause I heard I don't know, man. I heard. I'm not gonna lie. He's very ugly, yo. Feel bad. I don't know. I don't he feel got bad for him because he got Brandon. He in the league. No, like you know, ugly people deserve to get slandered. You're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me let me change something before you start going. <laughs> <laughs> These niggas go start clipping every clipping us, bro. All right, so I have a one question, right? So Luca had a really good season this year, right? Yeah. Do you think he's a Hall of Famer right now? To go into the Basketball Hall of Fame, do you think Luka Doncic could go into the Basketball Hall of Fame right now if he retires? No. Well, let me give you a reason why I think he can. He got a good case. Let me hear it. All right. So, he's a beast, bro. He's really... Uh, yeah, he he's, but remember, he's only... Bro, he's like 22, bro. I understand that. But think about it. It's the Basketball Hall of Fame. Oh, It's not yeah, NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if that's the case, yeah. Because that's why... I think that's why Yao Ming made it. Because he's yeah. a Basketball Hall of Fame. Not Sabonis' the, father made it, and he only played like six seasons in the NBA. He was a beast. Overseas, bro. Yeah, Literally, so. Luca won the... MVP of the second best league in the world when he was like 18. And he's three time all I, I, NBA I first he, team, bro. I think he might have been younger than 18. He might have been like 17, 17 16. Bro. He joined the NBA at 18, didn't he? Yeah, but I think that was that year. Like he won everything that year. So if you're going by that, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's like that's how it is, though. It might, that, he might not be fat first ballot. Definitely not first ballot. But he, he's definitely going like, to be he, in there. He'll be like T Mac. Yeah, but like he'll definitely be so. It. Yeah, but if you're talking about strictly NBA, he hasn't done enough yet. No, nah, no, nah, I don't think so. But three he, first team all NBAs, he's our age. T- yo, he's, yo, I'm not gonna lie, Luca is crazy. Like he's so good at basketball. Yeah, nah, he really. And, he, and the the best part about his game is he plays so slow, but he you can't like you won't you won't speed him up and you won't make him slow. Like he he plays at, at his pace, oh, and he's still gonna get a. Bucket. And he's gonna do whatever he want, and like you're just gonna be like, yo, what? Like he plays so slow. Like I don't get how, I don't get how it's not easy to guard him. I don't know either, bro. Because he's way much bigger than everybody. He's like se- six, six, seven, like six, six, eight, eight. two twenty five, two thirty. But probably, not muscle. He probably strong though. Like Jokic is strong. That's probably even why. he's pudgy. Or something he probably really like imagine he got in shape like really like in shape i, I think luca might have like some jordan shit like yeah. you know i remember when jordan was getting beat up by the the bad boys and you got back but in that's shape. the thing he's not getting beat up though he just don't got no help i know but he kind of yeah i mean like lucas he bro he dropped 40 every game bro he, nah he literally averages 40 in the playoffs <laughs> you know i'm saying he just he really just have no help he's not it's not like he's getting like he's not getting beat up he just don't have no more help you think I, I heard Zach Levine might fuck around and go to the Mavericks? He's not leaving, bro. You don't He's think not so? Not leaving Chicago. He loves Chicago, bro. I don't know. He was talking about they was talking about the Lakers and shit. The only person that said that is Levar Ball. That's why, like, that's the only reason. It's like, oh yeah, he might leave. But like, you know, Levar, like, that I mean, means I'm a not troll. Lie. He talks a lot of things to existence. That's what I'm so saying. It, it might, really happens, bro. It might happen. It really, he wasn't wrong about Lamelo, bro. He said it was the best one. Nah, free Jello, bro. He's Jello, not making it to the league. I'm J- sorry. Jello's the best shooter, bro. I'm not gonna. He's killing it. He, he was killing the G League. I don't know if he still is, but I don't think he's making it to the NBA. 
if it is, it's going to be like how the only way he's going to make it is if LaMelo is like a superstar and he's going to be like the Giannis, the Giannis, Giannis yeah. and shit like that. But, yo, that happened for a while. Yeah. Sure. Uh, we had we had Thanos on the on our G League team for for years. We drafted that nigga. Yeah, we had him on there for years before Giannis was like, yeah, uh, I'll pick him put, up. Put my brother on this team. Or and he's like, he has a free contract for, for the rest, rest of his, of his life. life. He only got he can retire for the rest of his life. He's, he'll be what on whatever team Giannis is on for the rest of his life, bro. That's fire. I ain't gonna lie. He don't even care about his other brothers, Kostis and <laughs> I know is uh, Alex. What's his name? I think that, I think he just he's in the G League, right? Yeah, or overseas. I think some shit like uh, that. Just stayed in college. Hey, bro, niggas want the money. I respect it, but like you can make money in college now. I know. How you feel about that? I mean, I we, feel like we wasn't big enough. Yeah, I know. We like we were still for it. we were still doing that. Yo, shit. that scared the shit. <laughs> what? It was a feather. If I just see something moving, I was like, <laughs> you thought it was like a fucking out of roach? I don't in know what it was, but I just know I was like. A <laughs> oh yeah, Corey was startled by a spider today. Everybody, I was. He screamed like a little girl. I really was. <laughs> I, I, I'm not. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I, don't care. I see a bug, I panic, bro. That's how. It, that's how it is. Bro. Hey, you did explain that before, but oh man, All right, I got a. I got a question, right? So, would you rather have an infinite card that allows you to get anything, like whatever you want, buys anything? Card. Yeah, card. Oh, okay. So you can buy anything you want. Uh huh. What's the catch? Uh, but like the catch is, everybody knows you have that card. And you're the only person in the world that has that card. Or would you rather... And the card could be stolen from me. Yes. Or would you rather be able to make money off of doing a crime? So, like, say you steal something from, like, CVS, you get, like, $100,000. Like, versus, like, anything? Like a chocolate bar? Oh, yes. Well, it depends. Maybe not 100000 Probably, like, 100 bucks For one chocolate bar? Yeah. But, like, the bigger the crime, the more money you get. I mean, isn't that like how life works? <laughs> anyway, Technically, yeah. So I like so either have the card or commit crimes. Yeah, I have the card. I'll hide the fuck out that card. Are you serious? Yeah. Like, but niggas could come after you. Like everybody knows you got that shit. Like every time you purchase something, you like. But think about it like this, bro. Like Elon Musk, Bill Gates, bro. They basically got that card, bro. <laughs> like think about it, bro. They basically like what's his name Jeff Bezos. They basically got that card. That's actually true. I'm not. If you really th- and if you really think about it, they basically got that card. So like you feel me? Ain't nobody coming after them. So yeah, ain't you. no ain't nobody coming after me, bro. Uh, I mean they will, but I feel like I will protect myself good gotta, well enough. Yeah, like uh, all right. That hmm, made me think that is true. Like they definitely have like, like black cards. That's all, bro. Like bro, they have. 78 billion like i think i think jeff bezos goes up a billion every day bro like just imagine having that much money like he uh, like, give me a bill bro you don't you don't need you don't need all need that, that bro. you don't money. like give me one bill bro you don't need all that's that that's what i'm bro. saying like he could really change the world but why isn't he doing it I mean, there's something what, stop- what would you do with what 100 billion i'll probably make it he probably has like a charity i'll make a charity yeah but guess what you're probably gonna give what a billion to that charity two billion you still got 98 billion left bro like wh- I wouldn't know what to do with all that money, bro. Like what? What do you? What would you do with a billion dollars? Make a um, make a super suit. <laughs> you like, gonna be Iron Man? Yep. <laughs> Shit. You wouldn't be Iron Man or Batman? Batman, no. Iron Man? I'll be Iron Man. Iron Man has cooler powers than Batman. <laughs> Batman's literally just a human in a suit. Hey man. Yo, Batman's physics. They need to. Under- they need to explain it, bro. Why? It, is he a human or not, bro? He is a human. So he how just- the hell does he? How the hell does he land a hit or reverse flash? That nigga is just okay. <laughs> it doesn't make no sense. He should not be able to land Prep a hit. Prep time. No. Prep time. No. That's, all, that's it, bro. You no, just that's bro, all the explanations. No, bro. no, bro. No. He's been training with so for he something is cool. A human being, bro. The greatest human ever. No, that's the point. He's still a human, bro. I don't know, bro. I think he was in space once. Like, bro, come on, let's be realistic, bro. You know why I stopped watching the Fast and Furious series, bro? Wait, Fast and Furious, like yes. the. The cars? Uh huh. Why? Why did the rock catch a car, bro? What? What's? Which one was that? I don't remember, bro. Oh, <laughs> I do remember that. Oh no, he caught a missile, bro. They shot a. a oh a, yeah, RPG. he caught the missile, bro. That, yeah, that was OD. That Come was on, OD. bro. It was. All right, it started going downhill after Fast Five. I'm not after gonna lie. Paul Walker died, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, when did they become superheroes, bro? That was bad. I remember Yo, that. They, they, I remember that. They one. drove this. They drove this to space with a rocket on the back of a Camaro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was Camaro, but bro, it was like a fast. Come on, bro. Bro, they're literally dragging the movie series. I'm not gonna lie. When the hell did they become superheroes, bro? When Paul Walker died. So yeah, now they just 
catch missiles. Literally, the rock was punching through walls. Yo, I knew it was over, bro. <laughs> when Vin Diesel stomped and the whole parking lot came Yes, bro. I'm like, nah, yes. come on, bro. It's not yes, real, bro. bro. Yes, this I remember real, that. This is real, bro. I remember. That was that, okay, that's a good point. That's real. They really this been... is not real, bro. Like, this is not, come on. Let's be, let's be honest with ourselves now. I don't know, bro. Now, the rock catching the missile sealed the deal for me. I'm like, nah, <laughs> it's over, bro. <laughs> no way. Just called an RPG. Easily. Easily. And, and it didn't explode? All right, bro. Let's hey. Go ahead. It's movies, bro. But is there anything you want to talk about? No, nah, you told me I said everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck. Oh, no. We could talk about, um since we're talking about movies and shows, like, remember you talking about, talk about what movies they should, oh, uh, shows the they should bring shows. back, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what cancel shows you think they should bring back, bro? My, one of my favorite shows ever, bro. The Boondocks, bro. They need to bring the Boondocks. Did they cancel back. it or did they just stop it? They just, I mean, it was kind of, it stopped because it got, like, it canceled. Getting canceled. Yeah. Uh, but, like, the, they need to bring the boondocks back. I think they was it was too much like they was going after too much that like, real like real situations. It was like you know it was also a black cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. too. But and I think the also the original uh writer stepped down or something. Mm. Because they was like trying to censor him. He was like, if I can't do it my way, I'm not doing it at all. Facts. Oh, that's I respect but, that. But the boondocks is a great show, yo. They need really? to bring the boondocks back. Yeah. I lo- I, lo- I I really I'm not gonna lie, like when I get bored. Like if it's time to go to sleep, I just put on the Boondocks. That's that's really my like my sleep my sleep show. Mm. I wanna I wanna I want them to bring back the um, MTV shows like MTV Cribs. Uh-huh. Bro. Uh Yo, I just found out uh, Pit My Ride was fake. I know, like that shit was crazy. I heard like everything about it was fake. Like, yeah. The people were fake, and like the cars like they didn't even work. Yeah, and I I, I, I was mad as hell. I'm like, bro, damn, yo, I thought this shit was real. That's so ass, bro. Like, that was some nice ass car. Like, but it made sense, though, because, like, how would that car literally I know. drive? It did make sense. But, like, at the time, you know, it was a thing about it. Like but that. think about it. Like, that show was for teens. Like, that, were these teens, like, really believing that shit? I was. I, oh, but te- we, I was, we, a we was kids. I was a kid. I don't know. Like, were they really actually believing that shit? I feel like I would have believed that. I would feel like I would have believed that as a teen. I don't think I would have. I'm not going to lie. I think I would have believed that as a teen. When, was it, when did you realize wrestling wasn't real? When I seen it in person, yo. Really? I seen it in person. I watched Shawn Michaels. Super kick John Cena and miss completely. I watched him miss completely. And I'm like, oh yeah, John Cena about to kick out of this. One, two. I'm like, ah, he about to kick out. Three, ding, ding, ding. I'm like, nah, wait, wait, no, no, no. I watched him miss. Like, how old were you? I was like, oh, maybe twelve or eleven. Oh uh, yeah, I think that was me too. I was like twelve or eleven. I'm like, no, I watched him miss. Yo, my mom took me to see. It was like a Saturday, Saturday night live. One of the Saturday events. Was it an Izod Center? What was no, it? No, it was Mass Square Garden. Yo. Oh damn! I, like, I got a picture of me standing right in front of Mass Square Garden. Yo, <laughs> I watched him miss. Like I, I literally watched it. He he missed. He didn't hit him. Oh my gosh! I know you were so sad. I'm bro. like, yeah. I'm like, yo, Johnson about to kick out. He missed. I'm like, damn. No, 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 nah. I- you know, I, I realized because like I think one of my cousins or somebody told me like, yo, wrestling's fake, you know that, right? And I was like, no, it's not. And I started watching, I was watching SmackDown uh-huh. on Friday night. I'm I'm watching, I'm like, wait, he's not really punching him. If you really look at like the, the like the plot and everything, I was like, Yeah. Like the kick outs and uh, the you just the let, punches. You, you let you gonna let you gonna let somebody slam you for real. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so you really think about it, it is fake as hell. It but. is, but it's like damn, bro. Like I, why? I was so I was so I was sad, devastated, bro. bro. I was so sad. And, and then what you call it? I think somebody was, you watched the uh, the new e, a, AEW shit. AEW, yeah. Bro. The nigga is the nigga is fighting with his hands in his pocket, bro. Yeah, come <laughs> on, bro. You can't even tell me that. That's even like a little uh, bit real. I don't know, bro. Like, but that like that's like as worse as somebody mm-hmm. like like telling a kid like Santa Claus wasn't real. Nah, that was I was very devastated about like, Santa Claus. No, about wrestling. Oh yeah, I was, oh, more, yeah, I was more I was more devastated about wrestling than I was about Santa Claus. I think so. Too. I think I've been to Santa Claus wasn't real though. I don't forget when. I, I think I've been and I ruined it for my cousin too. Did you really? Yeah, I was like, yo, Santa Claus is not real. Like I got I got it ruined for me, so it was over for you. Like, I think I, was, I, I, I realized sabotage. I realized when I was like eight, eight or nine, I used to write letters to that nigga. Like on the day of Christmas uh-huh. to get like my Christmas gift, and like I knew I wasn't getting that shit. <laughs> I think I think I seen my parents wrapping the gifts. I was like, oh yeah, okay. it's over. Yeah, bro. Another show they need to bring back. I've been watching the hell. I've been watching OD of it on YouTube lately. I don't know why. What? T Cap to catch a predator, bro. Yo, it's yeah. so it's so funny, bro. <laughs> it's so funny. Bro. Was that on? What was that? What show? Daylight was that on? NBC. Oh, okay. So like one of them channels that like is that where uh, Maury was on. The same channel Maury was on? One of them channels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. I don't know. Oh, oh one, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. That's probably four. Channels. 
Yo, it was four. Oh, okay. Was four. I remember NBC was it four. It was four. Yes, it was four. No. I never watched that shit, though. You know why that got canceled, right? Why? So they had caught a, a counselor or a senator or a mayor, one of the two. Yeah. One of, like somebody really higher up. Uh-huh. And they caught him in Texas. And what you call it, they went to uh, like arrest him, and he offed himself. Shot himself like on like on cam not on camera but like like the cameras was filming and you hear him shoot himself, so they was like they canceled it after that. But they, but it's crazy they had so much flow. like the show only really went on for like two years. Like it was a like it was like a real real show. Yeah, like it was real. Like, like it was like real. Like it wasn't no fake shit. No, nothing was nothing was fake. Wow. But if you like, but like like I said, they only filmed for like two years. But they have they had so much content out of two years. Wow. That they just like kept the show like they just kept putting out episodes for like the next four or five years or for two years of filming, yo. And like if you like, I I'm not gonna lie, so I thought it was like every like like they'll catch a predator every like once in a while, like this shit was like continuous like every yo, week. It, no, it was like they'll catch like forty, fifty people in one day, bro. Like they'll have OD. a they'll have a schedule like yo, like I got like I, oh yeah, the nine thirty's coming, nine thirty <laughs> John, nine thirty Johnny's coming. <gasps> Oh, 945 uh super 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 squirters coming whatever super never, squirter like yo like they yo. will have continuous people like they will catch like 40 50 people a day yo like that's crazy like that that like so a, yeah. a cycle like of a, 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 a pervs that's how that's you tell, bro. crazy and then was... chris hansen just dropping amazing one-liners every <laughs> <laughs> i don't know bro i used to watch this one show i don't think it's it was called Doug the Bounty Hunter. It was on True TV. Yo, I I remember watching that. That was yo. my shit, bro. It was in, like Hawaii, and they used to uh-huh. like they used to like arrest like people that was like wanted, yeah. like, like chase them down. I remember watching that. I feel like that was fake though. It might have been. I'm, 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 it was another show uh, that I found out was fake. Uh, the black she was like the black security. You know what I'm talking about, bro. What was it? Ah, uh, what was that? Uh, was this? No, it was a storage wars. Uh. Was it Repo? Something? Oh, 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 Yo, oh. The Repo show? I know you You know, know, the black... The, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The black lady, she fell off the roof. I'm like, this, all right, this is over, bro. She <laughs> fell off the roof and it came back and bust the window. <laughs> is that the one? <laughs> no, okay, I knew. You know what I'm talking about, it, right? it wasn't cops, right? No, it wasn't cops, It was the, the Repo thing was, with the I cars. Think, yeah, it was a Repo yeah, show. Yeah, I never watched it, but I know what you're talking about. And then she fell off the roof, bro. <laughs> She's like, they backed up and she fell off the roof and then she came... <laughs> The other way and bust the window open, bro. I'm like, nah, bro. This is fake. That bro. shit had, to, bro. Cause like the Doug the Bounty, they was literally chasing after the guy, like with the cameraman behind them. Uh huh. So like, I'm like, they wouldn't do that in real life. Well, I would have seen that. <laughs> and there's another show. Uh, I, I, I'm, you know, me animal guy. Yeah. Uh, Billy the Exterminator. Yo, that's my shit. I was Bill, gonna say Billy that the shit. Exter- they need to bring back Billy bro, the Exterminator, bro. I used to bro. love watching. I that DM'd him on Instagram. He got like 600 followers. He didn't DM me back, bro. He a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but I Yo. love Billy the Exterminator, bro. Yo, I th- I think I was watching. It's on Amazon. Yeah, bro. I was uh-huh. watching that shit, bro. Oh, that shit was my Billy shit, the Exterminator. They need to bring that show back, bro. They, nah, and, and Turtle Man. They even watched Turtle Man on nah, Amazon. I never watched. The Turtle Man was like Billy the Exterminator, but it was like with turtles. Nah, like sea life. No, it was the same thing. Oh, but okay. he just called himself the Turtle Man. Wow, bro. Nah, that's OD. I used to love Billy the Exterminator. Bro. He used to catch everything. Everything. Turtle Man was, was just as good, though. Oh, okay. Turtle Man was just. I think. I think one of the people in the show died, so I think he stopped. Oh, like so I he think. just didn't want to do it no yeah, more. Yeah, I, I think I could be completely wrong. I feel you. I feel you. All right, yo. Who would you rather fight right now? A seventy-five-year-old Sylvester Stallone or a seventy-four-year-old Arnold Schwarzenegger? Sylvester Stallone. I think I'm finding Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, bro, I don't think he could fight. He's still strong. I don't care. Sylvester Stallone, pretty oh, strong. Oh, Sylvester could probably. Yeah, he looked like he could fight. I'm not bro. gonna lie. He probably could fight. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I don't he, think Arnold Schwarzenegger could fight, bro. I'm fighting Terminator. I just thought about that. I'm fighting Terminator. I don't care how strong you are. Like, I'm you fighting still Terminator. Fight. I, could fight. I just thought. I just thought about that, bro. I'm thinking about yeah. Sylvester I'm, Stallone. I'm fighting Terminator, bro. Like I don't remember Arnold Schwarzenegger really fighting people for real. Nah, he was just like shooting, just people. strong, and strong just, as hell yeah. shooting people. He's the mayor of California, wasn't he? He was the mayor of no the the governor. Of California. Well, I knew he was something in California. How the hell was he the governor? Who knows? Was he that bro. good in politics? Oh, I doubt it. I ain't with the politics. He's in the chopper. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was he? He was German, right? I don't know. Now nah, he had to be. That's a German name. Schwarzenegger. Like, Schwarzenegger. 
<laughs> like I know Sylvester Stallone could really fight though. Nah, nah, nah. I just, I just, for, I forgot that he was Rocky, bro. Exactly. Yeah, no, I'm not fighting Sylvester. And like they both 74, bro. 74, 75, damn near. So he could be strong. I still, I can hit him one time. He get tired. Nah, I'm definitely fighting Terminator, bro. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think about that. That was he's definitely. I'm not fighting Rocky, bro. I can't fight Rocky, bro. Oh, Son, he only he also like five five. Who? Sylvester Stallone. No way. He's short as hell. He's not bro. five. He's short five, as bro. hell, bro. No way in hell. Look that shit up right now. There's no way in hell he's five foot five. No way he's walk, walking around beating niggas up. No way. He got to be at least like 6'2", bro. I think you're thinking about somebody. I think you think about Chuck Norris, bro. How, Sylvester Stallone. I know. That was hard for me. That I wasn't. No way I was uh, typing that in. <laughs> Oh, he's five ten. No, he's not. He's ain't lying. He's not five ten, bro. There's no, that's he's like even, five five, bro. Five ten is even shorter than I thought. I thought he was like six two, six three. How old is, how tall is Arnold Schwarzenegger? He like six five. They're lying on this on the, on Google, bro. He's not five ten, but I seen something and he's mad short. Bro. <laughs> he's like five five. No cap. He like a little Uzi height. Yes, bro. No I, way, I, don't, I forgot bro. what I was looking at, bro. He was standing next to somebody that was short. And he looked shorter than him, but he was mad short. Hell no, bro. Hell no. Why are you not showing Arnold Schwarzenegger's height? <laughs> Let's see if he's German. Let's what is he? He definitely is German. He's Austrian. Oh, Julian! Okay. Hey, he's shout out Julian. Julian. You think he watches this? Hell no. <laughs> I wanna, I'm going to send it to him one day. Shout out to Julian, bro. I miss you. I know. Schwarzenegger 6'2". Okay, okay. That makes sense. Oh, oh. so you want to talk about the serial, serial, kill, serial killer talks now, bro? Yes, let's talk about them killers. Because I got one that I think... I don't know if you know who he is, but like it's like a really crazy shit. It's like some Zodiac killer type shit. Let me hear it. All right, so you know, you ever heard of Bob Ross? Yeah, the, the painter. Yeah. Okay. So there's a thing going around that's saying like he's like an actual like serial killer. No way. Because like you know how he paints and stuff. Uh huh. So like his paintings are like he's painting the locations of where he buried bodies. Because there's one painting that he painted. Uh-huh. I forgot what it's called. I think it's called like. Oh, it's called. It was called something. I can't remember what it's called, but it was like a, tr- a picture of a tree. Uh huh. And, like, there's, like, a picture of, like, an actual tree where, like, five girls were buried underneath it, and they were, like, half eaten. And, like... Not my nigga Bob. I don't know. It might be... They saying, like, that's not the case because there was another killer that's, like, framed to it. But, like, who's uh-huh. to say, like, he didn't, like, set that man's up? Like, you know, you see all these yeah. movies where, like, the killer's not really that guy. What if it's a coincidence? It was a lot of places. Like, he made one with, like, a cabin. I think, like, somebody was found dead in the cabin. I don't know, bro. That's no, cr- ima- he's dead right now, though. But just imagine, that's crazy. My homie Bob, chill. You was I can't, I can't. Not my homie Bob, bro. Bro, literally, bro. Sweetest, seem like the nicest man, bro. Sweetest he, voice, soft voice. You, you never know, bro. People, you never, you really never know, yo. You really anybody, never know, yo, yo. For real, anybody could really be a serial like they killer, say, though. bro. You walk past like eight murderers in your life. You really, you really never know. Like, what? How was the Zodiac killer? Like, well, you know how that was. The Zo- so. They never found him. They yeah. just they just cracked they just cracked one of his ciphers, like recently his last cipher that like kind of re- reveal who he was. Not who he was, but like I forgot exactly what it was. But mm-hmm. it was like he like he said something that was like a clue. So basically, the Zodiac Killer he would like I think it was like over in Europe or England, one of those countries. Yeah, and. You know, you feel me? You know, he killed. He killed like, uh, like co-eds, like college students. Yeah, and yeah. And he'll leave the zodiac thing on it, but they will always. So, the first kill, he killed a couple. I think at the like they was like at the beach, and he just murdered them for yeah. no reason. And then he killed somebody. So they didn't know who killed the the people at the beach. Mm-hmm. And then he killed somebody outside of a like a like a. I think she was a a, a stripper or something like that. Yeah, a prostitute, and he killed her. And he, what he leave like clues behind and shit. Left a clue, but they was like, oh, a black man killed him, and he was like, you feel me? They blamed it on the black man. Yeah. So then he sent a a bloody shirt, like a, a ripped. He cut a piece of the shirt. Yeah. And sent it in the mail with a cipher, and was like, and, and you they they like coded the cipher, and he basically was like, oh yeah, uh, 
I, w- I was standing right there the whole time. I w- yeah, I walked right past me. I blamed it on the black dude, and I was watching the whole time. Oh yeah, and I also killed these the, the two couples in the in the in the friend, beach at the beach, and I gave them like a a bloody cloth for the shirt, and was like, here's the shirt to prove it. I killed them two couples. That's at the beach. scary, and they never found out. Never found out who he was, yo. That's cr- I'm not and gonna lie. That's he just scary. stopped. He just so his last cipher. He dropped his last cipher and then disappeared. That's scary. There's crazy. That's crazy. There's really people in this world that like that. Yo, but like how's like but so they was like they was like like so they was like doing uh, uh like trying to figure out who he was. Mm-hmm. So they they was trying to connect him to this doctor. Yeah. Because the he had a good uh he was like a skill in cutting people. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And like, like a eye. surgeon. Yeah. yeah. So it was like yo he like this person has to be uh, it. Uh, like a like a, a educated person. Yeah. And especially the the make a cipher, bro. You know how hard it is to make a cipher for real. Like what is that like decoding? Decoding shit? something. So it would be it would be like a a paper with a bunch of words, oh. a bunch of le- not a bunch of a bunch of letters, and you have to like put pieces together to find out what. That's like like the jigsaw shit. Yeah, you have seen the the new Batman. Yeah. You have seen how like it was like a the first clue it was a cipher and mm-hmm. and he had to have Alfred crack the cipher for him. Mm-hmm. It's like that. Wow. So it was like you feel me? You know how hard it is to make a cipher, bro. That means you know, you know how smart you got to be. That's scary. There's really people in this world that's like that, and they never found him, bro. Like there could be somebody going through that shit right now. That's what I'm saying. And he will leave like his his sign was like the that's why they call him the Zodiac Killer. They leave a Zodiac sign. That's scary. Yeah, how like, when was this going around? Like circle, like shit, like way before, like the 90s or way earlier. Like, probably like 60s. If it was the night, let's see. I feel it like it might be like the. I feel like it was like the 80s. I don't know. It definitely was in the 80s. 80s earlier, 80s was like. The Bundys, I believe. Oh, Ted Bundys? I, really? I think so. Oh, I thought Ted Bundy was like the 90s. That's crazy, but yo, watch out, people, because you never know, man. Like I'm saying, bro. Like I'm talking about with that movie you was talking about, bro. Lily, you don't know who oh, was after you. 19, the 60s. Oh, it was the 60s? Yup. Wow, bro. Oh, nah. Shit, I was wrong. Serial killers is scary, bro. Like that, like you think that's like a mental disorder type of thing, or you think that's just like... It's, it is psychopath, psycho like uh, psychopath, sociopath. That's literally what they are. No, no, bro. That's you, a smart the, sociopath. The, though. And the worst part about it, like you would never know, like who, is, like you would never know who a psychopath is. Like they're they're so functionable in, like, in life. life. Yeah, you would never know who's a psychopath. I f- they said good signs, like a person that that don't break eye contact with you. Like it's, it's, it's a good sign of psychopath. Like you gonna kill you type shit. No, like you have a conversation with somebody and like they just don't break eye contact. They look at you the whole time because they don't feel like. So you know how like other people could feel like okay you're making me uncomfortable like, yeah yeah they don't feel that oh like they don't feel uncomfortable or they don't feel no, they you don't making feel, them they don't feel like other people's emotions so they don't they, so that they'll dead to stare at you and don't don't realize that okay I'm oh. making him uncomfortable so let me look away and look back yeah they're just like oh they don't feel that's like, creepy they don't feel empathy so like another thing like like they don't feel bad for people like they don't feel empathy they don't feel mm. like. Stuff like that's that. That's bad, bro. You think that's like hereditary, or you think like it builds over time, like through trauma and shit? Definitely trauma. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I think if so. you look at most serial killers, like most serial killers have a troubled like life upbringing. Like, yeah. like I said, we spoke about that last uh, episode. Ed Kemper. Yeah. His like he was like he killed his grandparents. He his, his mother like abused him. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So he became, even Ted Bundy too, right? As I said, Ted Bundy was abused. You feel me? Uh the Ice Man, he was abused as a child. How about Jeffrey, Jack? The, how Jeff, about Jack the Ripper? Never, never got caught either. Jack, what was Jack the Ripper is another person that never got caught, so we don't know who Jack the Ripper is. I heard, oh, I heard something about Jack the Ripper. Like they, they think it's somebody who's like a really, like, a really like a businessman or something. Not like a, that. not a businessman. Somebody that wrote books and like he was hmm. like t- he was like telling like they I, think it was um. I forgot who it was. Oh man, was it Shakespeare? Not shit. Nah, not Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Wait, when was Jack the Ripper around? I think it was the same time as Zodiac. So Shakespeare was like way, way before. It was like somebody, a somebody, a famous book writer. They think it was Jack the Ripper because of like what he was writing in his books. I forgot who it was. Wait, I gotta, I gotta look this shit up real quick. Jack the Ripper was in the 1988. So I look up like Jack the Ripper, um, like books, like who they thought Jack the Ripper was, were like storytellers. Suspects. I'm gonna look up suspects. Yeah, look up suspects. Cause I think it was a boy, a dude that was writing books and like he was putting clues in his books it was like some famous writer it was was it um fucking what's that dude it's somebody we really know Edgar Allan Poe no it wasn't Edgar Allan Poe imagine bro you know what I realized 
off topic. Remember that episode with the boots in SpongeBob? JJ Holmes. Is that him? JJ. Who would he write? I don't know. It, remind, it rings a bell. I ain't gonna lie. You remember that episode of SpongeBob with the boots? Yeah. You know that that was like a spinoff to like Edgar Allan Poe's thing? For real? Like there was a book Edgar Allan Poe wrote that was something similar to that. Like a dude, like a, it was like a, a Edgar Allan Poe book. It was like a guy murdered somebody and he put him underneath the floorboards. And like he was so guilty um, about it. I read that book, yes. yo. Yes. I, oh, um, whoa, yo. What was that shit called? Dude? It wasn't The Raven. No, no, no. It was fucking. It was, uh, tell, talk, tell, talk, tell. tell the, the, yo, I I read that book, yo. We read that. I read that shit in high school, bro. That shit was literally the same exact thing about SpongeBob, with the boots when Mr. Krabs put that shit underneath the um the floorboards, bro. He was like the boots. <laughs> <laughs> that shit kept squeaking in his ear. That was literally the same exact thing, bro. He was like, it's underneath the floorboards, the boots. Let's, let's see. That. I'm trying to let's find that. Uh, the Jack the Ripper thing. No, what's his name again? Edgar Allan Poe. What's the name of that? How to Kill a Mockingjay. No, it was That was not. That wasn't Edgar Allan Poe, was it? No. Who was that? You talking about To Kill a uh, Mockingbird? To, yeah, who was that? I don't know. <laughs> Fuck, that was, I was way off. That was Harper Lee, bro. <laughs> oh, damn. What the fuck? Ah, now, see, it kills is crazy, but it might be sick. I feel like, I feel like I've like i been around a serial killer maybe the once. Tell, the Tell, the Tell, Heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. And he killed the guy, and he put him underneath the, uh-huh. the floorboards, and, he, and the cop was like, oh, did you kill him? He was like, he was like, no, I didn't kill him, but he was like, I can hear him uh-huh. underneath the floor, but he's right there. And he was like, oh, okay. Yeah, he like, they didn't have to do shit. Because uh-huh. <laughs> they didn't think it was him. He was just yo, guilty. Uh, yo, my teacher, my, my English teacher was sick for making us read all his poems, bro. That was, I ain't gonna lie. Yo. I was a dark dude, bro. Yo, he really was, bro. He was bad. He was a dark we person, read that. Where'd bro. you read that? I read that in high school. Seventh grade. I read it seventh in grade? seventh grade, yes. Oh, hell bro. no. That's crazie. I ain't gonna lie. I was lie. reading them in seventh grade. My, teacher, my English teacher was making us read that. She's sick, yo. I read that shit in like high school. I used to read a lot of sick shit in high school, bro. Nah, high school. We read. What did I read in high school? I read the fences. Fen, the fences. I read fences in high school. What's that? Uh, remember the movie that came out with Denzel Washington? Uh-huh. Uh huh. Recently. What is uh, it called? Fences. Oh, I, I know you're talking about. I never watched it though. Yeah. Uh, what else I read in high school? You ever watched? You ever read that movie with the with the kids that get stranded on the island and start killing each other? No. Uh, what's that fucking movie called? Jay, you know what that movie's called? That book is called. It's like when a bunch of kids get stranded on the island. Hunger and, Games? Not Hunger Games. Oh, I don't know. Well, I read that too. It was called. Um, it was like a bunch of kids get stranded on an island, and like they start they start making a society, but they start killing each other. One kid get hit by got hit by a boulder. It was a fat kid. Fuck! What was that movie called? Hold on, hold on. The Goonies. <laughs> nah, The Goonies was fire. Book. I know how to find the Jack the Ripper thing, but like I don't feel like playing the video. Like, oh no, yeah, you straight, you straight. Book it's about kids. Show. <laughs> Book about kids on an island. I want to say it's Lord sh- of the Flies. That's what it's called. I never read that book. That was crazy. Yo, I really want to know who the author was, bro. I'm gonna like it's gonna hit me once the pod is over, bro. Yeah, it will. But yo, man, I, I feel like is is I feel like it's Shakespeare. Nah, Shakespeare was way older. Shakespeare wasn't in the 80s. Yo, Shakespeare who was, was like in the author? 1700s. Who was this author, yo? I'm trying. I'm. I, it like, was a real like famous, a famous, person. yes. And they think it was him. Just think about yo. You know how good you have to be to like cover up your tracks like that. If he was like you talking about, if he was really, like the author, yes, bro. I That's, think they thought he was a prince too, like the, uh, like one of the Prince Harrys or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Like, not Prince Harry, but one of those people. They thought it was him. I don't know, bro. That's just scary, man. I ain't gonna lie. That's really scary. Like yeah. they could really be. Like I feel like maybe once in my life, like I, there was like a a serial killer just like right next to me, at least once. A serial killer maybe like. Tell me, about, so do you think serial killers would do would thrive better in today's society? We, oh, like Bra- with all the media? Like, with like, yeah, with like all the social media. Nah. No? You, okay, you know what? I feel like it's not as easy, but if you could do it, then you're really like, you could really like low-key like take over something. Just I think, think about it, bro. I think you can just because how, how how accessible the internet is. But I think it's also you can't because, because, you can, how, because how accessible. That's like, what I'm how, saying, bro. Like, because if some shit, if say like the Zodiac Killers today, uh-huh. literally everybody's going to know about that shit. Everybody would know about it. Well, everybody knew about it back then, but, but it was more word to mouth. And yeah, it, was like it wasn't like newspaper. Like you feel me? Like I'm talking about TV. Yeah, Twitter. But it's so many like cameras and all that extra stuff now. Like, That's, but I mean, you can't even like. I heard some cameras in some states they turn off all the surveillance cameras. Oh. Well, unless it's like a local business, but like I think like 
traffic lights. You know, how traffic lights had cameras. Like in New yeah. Jersey, we the them cameras aren't on no more. Oh, like the traffic. But it's still easy to track. Like yeah, it's still you easy. can't meet up. Like if you meet up somebody, obviously they're gonna check her her records and her phone, whatever. Oh like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. She met up with this person this day. Okay, she, this is when she disappeared. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like they're gonna find you eventually. So I I don't I feel like. I don't know. I still feel like they have a they have a field day. I feel like the only way is like if you have somebody on the inside covering up everything. I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I feel like they have a field day for real. Like, really? I feel like they, I don't think so. I, I don't feel know, like they bro. go fifty for fifty. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts, bro. But yo, you know they found a sinkhole in China. No. There was like a big ass sinkhole. You know what was inside, bro? It was like a whole prehistoric forest in the inside. For real? That's yeah, bro. Cool. Like it, they said, it was like yo, a, it's you, yo, it's it's a, it's a lot of things we don't know, bro. Man. There's literally a lot of shit. Like they say, they found like there was like the trees, and there was like 130 feet tall. And like they said, explorers went down there and said like there might be like they wouldn't be surprised if they found like new species down there that we never seen before. I'm, yo, you want <laughs> you want to hear something funny? What? So in Rock Creek, y'all we talking about Rock Creek basketball? Yeah. So there's a tree that fell, a huge tree <laughs> that fell. In the uh, so in the grass part, yeah. And my dad was telling me about how somebody was like, <laughs> "Yo, I remember, I remember that that tree was that tree was a baby." <laughs> Who said that shit? Some some dude, some bro. old nigga. Yeah, I remember that tree was a baby. The dude, not even about like forty, he's like fifty. <laughs> He was like, wait, so you're telling me you seen that tree? He was a baby. <laughs> he was like, yeah, why does that tree grow? The tree is huge, bro. You know how long it takes for a tree to grow, bro? He dumb as hell. <laughs> he told me, I seen the tree when he was a baby. What if he's a time traveler? <laughs> hey, gang, you never know. <laughs> they might be walking amongst us. But, hey, man. Like, I feel like there's a lot of sh- And they, they were saying, like, there's, like, other, like, sinkholes around the world that's like that. But, like, they don't tell us what's in them shits. Because, like, think about it. How the hell is there a whole forest underground? And, like, we don't even know about it. Like, no sunlight, but there's still, like, trees growing. That's a great question. Like, if that shit's 130 feet tall, bro, that shit had to have been... But then, it's a core, like, bro, like, it's, it's it's a core of the earth. Like, you feel me? It's more stuff that you... We, it's just stuff we really don't know about, bro. That's what I'm saying. Have you ever seen the Meg? What, the Megalodon shit? Yeah. Yeah. You see how the Meg came through an ocean thing, like a clouded thing? That yeah. Did, like, you think that's not real, bro? That I, that gotta be somewhere, bro. I think so. They said they was talking about there's some volcanic like there was like a volcano on the yeah, water, yeah, and then it, and then it exploded or something like that. Mm-hmm. And mad new species came out of it. like yeah, there bro. was like regular there was like some radioactive sharks or some uh-huh. shit. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the new. I feel like that shit happens like that happened like years ago, but they're telling us this shit now because like time. I'm not gonna lie, they can manipulate time however they want. They could find they could have found this shit out like mad long ago, and they're mm. just telling us now like oh we found this shit yesterday. There's no way they did. Cause that shit would have been like way more all over the place. Yeah. Cause like I feel like they just they're trying to like they because like you know when shit happens they want to like they want to see it first just mm-hmm. to make sure it doesn't scare us. Cause like if it scares us then we're gonna go into a panic and shit like that mm-hmm. and shit goes left. So they're gonna have to check it out first. Be like, all right, you know we could tell them this now mm-hmm. after six months of us mm-hmm. exploring it. Cause like what if they find some shit down there, bro? Like some heat. I don't fucking know. Like some like aliens or something. Maybe. Like, you ever heard of um Project Blue Beam, bro? It's like a thing where... No, I ain't hear that. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's some shit where freaking, I guess the government, they're going to... It's like a... They're trying to make a one central government, like for the whole world. For the whole world? So, like, what they're going to do, what they're supposedly going to do... damn well won't work. Look, think about it. Think about it. What they're going to do is they're going to use, like, holograms and shit to fake, like, an alien... Uh, attack on the world and alien invasion to scare us all mm-hmm. and then they're gonna have like some like god type shit come save the day and we're all gonna listen to that one god it's gonna be like the new world order type shit you know eventually he's gonna be like alright nah he ain't real let me you feel me but look think about it remember you know how we all go into war right mm-hmm. like world war 2 we went into war because of uh, Pearl Harbor a big ass invasion happened and brought the whole country together. Nine mm-hmm. eleven, big ass invasion, not a really invasion, but an attack on the world. Yeah, brought everybody together. Just what? What if a big alien ship, big ass invasion came down? Just gets everybody scared. Nobody knows what you do. You know when you're scared, like you don't know. You just mm-hmm. react to shit. And now it's like somebody's savior, and then but you're with them. How long does that last? You never. I don't know, bro. You know. Cause they, Kim, they they have Kim, a lot of Kim Jong Un think he's God himself. What do you mean he got himself? He think he's God. 
That's what I'm saying. I don't know, So bro. you think he going to listen to another person? Like You see how you see how North Korea is, bro? That's what I'm saying. That might be... You think he going to change for, for, for anything else, bro? He's not changing for nobody, bro. He you never know, God bro. himself will come down and be like, yo, you need to change your views. He'll be like, I am God. Hey, bro, they might take him out. Who, the aliens? They might take him out. I don't fucking know. Man. That's uh, Dennis Rodman's best friend. He ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> How? Why Dennis Rodman, bro? That, that guy's weird. That's why I look up to him, bro. <laughs> Do dirty work like Rodman. Hey, yo, bro. All right. So would you rather have... All right. So would you rather live in a world where all bugs are the size of animals or all animals are twice as, twice the size they are right now? Animals twice the size. And you've seen what I did to that spider, bro, today. Corey, do you know how big those animals are going to be? Do you, you've seen... What I did to that spider today, bro. Okay. That spider wasn't nowhere size of a, I don't a know, dog, a little dog. No, I'm saying that size it was it was the size of a of a penny, bro. And you seen what I did? Now imagine if that spider was the size of a dog, bro. I would bro. literally kill myself, bro. <laughs> bro, you literally, bro. Just imagine, bro. The animals might run the world, bro. That's fine, bro. What the fuck do you mean that's fine? Think about it like this. So most animals aren't really... One, like, when, when, when you really encounter a bear, bro? So a bear being twice the size is like, all right. I'm not going to lie. I don't think they'll be able... We won't have zoos. We will. Bro, so put it as this. A, how big is a bear? How tall is a bear? A polar bear is 13 feet. 26-foot polar bear. Or whatever, bro. I'd rather a 26-foot polar bear than a... Because, yo, a spider's going to try to bite you, bro. I don't care. A dog-sized spider? I'm still killing a dog, that shit. Yo, a dog, <laughs> a, a eagle-sized mosquito, bro. Oh, oh, I ain't going to lie. That might kill us. That's what I'm that saying, That might kill you. Bro. I ain't going to lie. An eagle-sized mosquito? Mm. Still still horny for blood? I'm not going to lie. Oh, an eagle-sized mosquito would actually murk you. I'm not gonna lie. That junk stab you. You're dead. That's, it's over, bro. It's gonna suck your blood in one sip. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. They might turn, take over the world. You might have just changed my mind. I ain't gonna hold you. They might take over the world more. And than... And they're already responsible for all the like the most de- human deaths in like the world. That's because of the fucking malaria. Shit. All right, yo, now there's malaria times two. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that malaria bullshit, bro. Man, that's fucking gay. Dang, you really changed my mind. I'm mad as shit. Yo, if I see, a, if I ever seen a dog-sized roach, I'll just stop moving, bro. <laughs> we're gonna fi- we're gonna fix your fears of no, that you're, shit. No, you're, you're, you're I a promise grown-ass you're, man. I promise you not. You a grown-ass man. And I will forever be scared of roaches, bro. <laughs> I'm not. I, <laughs> what I, the fuck, you're bro? You not gonna do nothing with a roach? Go ahead, go ahead, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. You wanna let's let's get into the st- show because this part of the show where a lot of people been asking me about. We got. I got some urban legends from the different states of America. Like I said before, if y'all want some urban legends from y'all state, just comment your state down below. We're going to put on a wheel and we're going to spin it. So this week we got uh, Pennsylvania, mm-hmm. too. So Who requested not, it? Hmm? Who requested it? You want to give them a shout out? Oh, I don't know, bro. It was a lot. <laughs> oh, okay. Like 5,000 people. Okay, never mind. That's a lot. I'll try, I'll try to help y'all out. Sorry, brother. Yeah, I'll tag you in it. Well, whoever's mm-hmm. the first one. But this is not really like a urban legend. This is kind of like a conspiracy kind of. Nice. So, like, it's called the Philadelphia Experiment, right? So, this is during the 1930s where, like, before World War II, where the U.S. government created, like, a group of, like, scientists to try to make, like, invisibility cloaking technology and shit like that for mm-hmm. the warships. So, they supposedly, Einstein, Nikola Tesla, all them people was, like, a part of it. And you said Einstein? Yeah. Bro, okay. Einstein's not that old, bro. I know. He's World War II. That's what I'm saying. I thought he was no. way older. Yeah, yeah. Is it World War II? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was Manhattan right. Pro- the Manhattan Project? That was mm-hmm. Einstein? Okay. Yeah. So. You sure? Yeah. Einstein, bro. Einstein. Okay. I thought Einstein was like 1800s. He was the Manhattan Project? The nuke? He, the, the nukes and stuff? He was. I think he was a part of that. Okay. But so during nine. So this happened in 1943. So he was able to put like. Uh, electrical coils around the boat around the naval ship I think it was like the SS Eldred some shit like that mm-hmm. and he was able to like conduct like so much power that it bends the light around the boat making it invisible and it, and since it could bend light around it it bend like time around it. so it was like going through time and shit uh-huh. so they was so supposedly it was able to like do it but like once like it stopped like the people it was able to make the boat and the people on the ship invisible and he couldn't see it, and they went through time. And supposedly, like the people on the boat were, some of them were sick, some of them were on fire, some of them like morph, like morphed into the boat. 
after like there's like hella shit went wrong during that shit but like nobody knows like if that actually happened or if it was just like some random government experiment that really did happen but i don't it know did not happen <laughs> you don't think so <laughs> that did not happen do you do you think niggas could be invisible bro invisible yeah like hollow man no was that a movie yeah you never I, seen it i think i did uh, the, did was it recently Wait, uh, was like the ex her ex boyfriend became no that was invisible man. Well, something with the ex boyfriend. I, I mean, the dude where he wore the mask had the uh, they made him the clay mask and he used to he used to start murdering people when he was invisible because he didn't want to uh, leave being invisible. No, 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 that wasn't that one. Okay, I don't watch that. Halloween is a good movie, but um, no, I don't believe I don't believe people could be like. Do you think there's that. some sort of technology that could affect that shit? Maybe in the next. And I feel like maybe no. I was honestly, you never know, because they be holding back, bro. They do. They be holding back, so you never know. They, have to, I, I do believe they had the technology to do a lot of stuff, and they probably do have the technology to make people invisible, because they have the technology. They could clone you, bro. They have the technology to really, to clone you right now, and like have you grow up from a seed, from being a baby, and you'll grow up to be. I mean, I heard exactly. they made AIs that could like give birth to little AIs. I don't know what the hell I was reading on the internet, but that's I what hope, I... I hope that's not true. That's the end of the world. Because Will Smith, Will Smith, he's not mentally stable enough to uh, save us this time. <laughs> I know, he's definitely not, bro. <laughs> Jada's going to beat his ass. I don't know, but I feel like they got a lot of... I feel like a lot of the technology we have now... Like, I was... Like, me and Jay was riding through Newark, right? You know people have them, them little them little one-wheel scooters? Mm-hmm. Like, seeing that oh, man dude, ride that... so that, cool, bro. Tell me like, that shit don't look like we in the future, it bro. It do, and it looks so cool, bro. I want one so bad. Freaking Chris has one. It's kind of fun. Of course he he will he would have one. <laughs> that man really got everything, but but oh, I got another card. This is a good one. So who's winning in a fight? A UFC me. fighter? Oh. What did you just say? I said me. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. So who's winning in a fight? A UFC fighter who's five ten one eighty five or a power lifter who's six four two twenty five? UFC fighter, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That power lifter is whooping his ass. He's not. He's a UFC fighter, bro. What does that mean? It's. Is points and pressure points and moves and maneuvers and counters bro, that that I'm not body saying he builder, Bruce Lee, bro. I'm not. I'm, he's a MMA fighter, bro. I'm, I'm going with the MMA fighter. He he's could be tra- the worst one. He's still a trained fighter. He is. He got what's that? Forty pounds on him. He's still a trained fighter. What does that got to do with anything? He could be ass. And he could. The ass is USC fighter is gonna fuck up, bro. This man way. is like freaking Larry Wheels. You know who Larry Wheels is? No, but he it's, sounds ass, bro. That man is freaking huge. I seen he oh he bench big. pressed two twenty five on each hand. Does that mean he can't get his arm broken? In the it corner? might. It means he could he could pick him up like this and he, throw his he ass. Probably can, but guess what? How how many times you want to throw him before he finally puts you in that sleeper and, and it's night night? Bro, he could literally just pick him up and continuously just. Throw him like a rag doll. Did you see you watch Game of Thrones? No. Never mind. <laughs> Didn't we have, we have spoke we about this? We talked about this before. I did watch it yet. Yeah, I'm sorry. But you're going to watch that movie I'm talking about. I'm going I'm I'm to watch like, it, but you're killing me with this Game of Thrones. You got to watch Game of Thrones so I can make I'm my talking, references. You're talking about the White Walkers? White no, Walkers? I'm not, bro. But it's no the little point. midget? There's no point of talking about it no God more, damn You haven't watched it, bro. I'm sorry. God. I'm just saying, bro. Just think about it. That's why there's, that's why there's weight classes in UFC. You're right. That, that you're absolutely right. But that doesn't mean he can. I'm going with the person that can fight, bro. Even if he's the the worst one. <laughs> guess what? The worst NBA player is washing us, bro. So guess what? I'm going <laughs> the worst. Me. The, 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 he's washing. Tony Snell. Wait, who, who's Tony Snell's killing you, bro? Okay, okay Tony Snell is fine. Just because he's ugly, I mean, not because bad. He's crying, you, bro. <laughs> who's the worst? But I don't even want. I'm not gonna freaking. lie. I feel like. Jared Jeffries in his prime, I'm frying Jared Jeffries, bro. <laughs> remember, you remember Jared Jeffries? Yes, yeah. he, got to, I, he was the worst Nick ever in history, bro. I'm frying Jared Jeffries, bro. I don't know, bro. I'm telling you, 6'4", 225, bro. You say he's 5'10", the other dude? 5'10", 185. That's me. Now, a little, little heavier than me. Nah. Bro, no. he literally got a reach on him. He can't touch him. Guess what? That he miss? What is he? He not Bruce Lee? Yo, you don't know who he is, bro. Like you don't know who this dude is. But we're assuming that he cannot fight, bro. No, we're not. We're just we're knowing we're, he's six four two twenty five. We're, we're just big, bro. Yes, Magic Johnson's son is six nine. <laughs> <laughs> Why you say that? I'm <laughs> saying he's six nine, bro. Oh, yeah, he is six nine. <laughs> he, can't, he can't fight, bro. I'm pretty sure he's. Gonna- 
<laughs> he might beat your ass. I won't. No, he won't. Oh. Magic Johnson should probably beat no, your he won't. ass. That's a big it. dude. I don't care. I won't allow it. That's a big dude, bro. I, won't allow I don't it, care. Bro. He probably. That don't mean that. That mean he I can't fight. I won't allow it, bro. Bro, he mean. would whip your ass. No, he will not. Magic Johnson. He probably will, bro. He's he six, would, He no, is six all, eight. All that talent, bro. <laughs> Potential. <laughs> We're not even gonna talk about that, people. We love y'all, but I'm just saying, a six four, two twenty five power lifter. That is like an NFL prospect. Don't that matter, man lifts? Bro. He lifts, and the other dude fights. What does that mean? That he fights. So That's what, what? It means, bro. He can literally just lift him and just throw him around like a rag. Dog. What if he? What if he won't get off of him? What do you mean? So what if he tries to throw him? He got him in his arm bar. He tries to throw him, bro. He can literally just pick him up like this. All right, but what if he like and just slam him down, bro? He's not the Hulk, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, like I understand in movies when like The Rock is fighting like some nigga like Bruce Lee or Jet Li, he loses, but that's cause it's a movie. This is a real life. The, Ro- the Rock has never lost. <laughs> no, I mean like somebody is similar to The Rock. I know what you meant. <laughs> like you know, you ever know like in those movies yeah, like the Expendables, yeah, yeah. they always had that one big dude. Yeah, yeah. John Wick killed uh, Boban. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no. there's no way. Yeah, maybe. But okay, that's a that's a stretch because he's too big to move around. He's slow. But I'm telling you, like somebody that's like six five, two fifty. But it's if I'm trained to fight. But what you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I don't know, bro. Like how are you gonna fight? How are you gonna beat him? He is little. You got six inches yeah, and forty you, pounds you have to on put you. Put him in a chokehold and kill him, bro. That's not even gonna work. He can just sit up and just headbutt you something. I, I I'm going with. I'm still going with. Like just imagine mind. he has a gut, bro. He can't. No body shots is gonna hurt that man. He's right. <laughs> but I'm going with the. I'm saying MMA as in. Fighter, he, he the maneuvers, choke holes, bro. Like it's it's, it's so uh, mixed martial arts, bro. Oh, I'm know. going with him, bro. He's supposed to be a trained fighter, bro. I'm going with him, bro. He he's got, he's gonna do ass. Nah, nah, hey, 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 man. That's all you gotta say. Yeah, hey. he gonna he gonna do something for me. I'm gonna <sighs> talk to him. I'm gonna be in his corner. He gonna, bro. For money, I'm I'm betting on the six four dude. Alright, now for money though, it was different. I wow, I, I don't want to lose my money. Wow, now. wow. So you not even with that. You not even with that man for real, bro. I don't want to lose my bread now. I might hey, go bro. With the advantage. Hey, bro. You got anything you want to talk about before I start asking some other questions? No, nah, everything I really had to talk about. You told me that I already said it. Like what? The, the, oh, the shit in Yeah. Oh, no, come on. Let's not say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I I don't know. I forgot. What else were we talking about? Oh. All right, so so which sense would you would you get rid of like forever? Sight, smell, taste, touch, or hearing? Name okay, sight, sight, smell, taste, touch, or hearing? Touch, touch. So you won't be able to feel anything. Oh wait, that's not just my hands. <laughs> yeah. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I knew that thing. I knew. I knew. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, I thought you just meant like. Nah, bro. Any touch. Never mind. No, no. Nah. <laughs> Sorry, kids. Come here, bro. <laughs> I ain't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So not touch. Um, I think I might get rid of smell. But like, I feel like doesn't like smell correspond to like your taste buds? Yeah. Dang. That's ass. I would no. I would say taste. But I heard a lot of people said that like, during COVID, like with like not during COVID, like like with the first COVID, like when it was really bad and they got COVID and couldn't taste, like that ruined their appetite because they couldn't taste what they was eating. Uh, I'm going with smell. I think I I have to I'm go with, with smell. smell. Like I want like I don't mind that. But smell. nah, because like what if you like smell like shit? You can't even tell. Like damn, I smell like shit right now. I know. Like you can't. But like. And like your smell, like you need your smell to know, like when, when dangers, dangers, dangers around. What was, what's that smell? You know? <laughs> like you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. You got, what the fuck is that? You know what I mean? It's like a, like a like a like a protection. You know what I'm saying? Like that's do you, do you really need the taste for real? I I I want to enjoy my food. I do brother. too, but like, do you really need? To I'll go into like a deep dark depression. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> If I can't enjoy pizza, I'm not gonna. It's between, it's between, it's between taste and smell. Cause I feel like if you get rid of like your smell, you can't taste. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? All right, so I'm, I'm gonna get rid of smell. But I just, you, I need that. You feel me? Like the, you need on. that more than tasting food. I don't, I think so, bro. Bro, just imagine. I'm you. You looking at some uh, the best food you ever seen in your life, and you eat it. It doesn't taste like nothing. What if Jay like yo smell this baby? Like this <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> smell that shit. <laughs> nah, I might have to give it a smell. You gotta give but it, but like a that's bad though, cause like 
what if something rotten and you not even gonna you feel me? You, you don't gotta you can see if it's rotten. You you you, you can't always see bro. like what? Like like a, like milk? Oh or, you feel me? Anything, bro. Yeah, you nasty, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you nasty. I wasn't thinking about that. No, you nasty. I wasn't thinking about that. You nasty. You said oh it looked at me. <laughs> no, I'm talking about milk. But like, I don't know, bro. Like what if you like stepped in shit, bro? You don't know. Hey, you just got somebody with you. Just be like, yo, you just stepped in shit. So I gotta have somebody with, with me at all times. To, to know Not really all place. times, but like you know, most of the time. It's it's gonna it's, it's honestly it's smell. It has like, to be smell because like that's, taste. That's, that's a hard. That's a hard. I need to see. I need to hear. Yeah, those maybe are, hearing. Think, nah, I need to hear, bro. <laughs> Definitely need to hear. <laughs> like you could go. Definitely need to hear, bro. I mean, I read subtitles anyways, but. Definitely. Nah, I can't. I can't. I don't even know why you even think that's the option. Like, <laughs> trying to justify not to be able to I'm hear. trying to help people, bro. I'm trying to. Uh, it's definitely smell, bro. Okay, I'll, I'll take. I won't. I'll, I'll get rid of smell, bro. All right. Let me. Let me see. I feel like. Do I have anything else I want to talk about, bro? That's bad, though. Huh? Um. Huh? I know. Nah, it's, I know, it's bro. Yo, it was I, was, like I was. Yo, I was sweating. My. Like I feel like I played a basketball game in my house, bro. Bro, it was bad. It was like yo, people, y'all know we in Jersey. It was like freaking almost hundred degrees today. today, bro. It was hot as hell. You know, people in Arizona looking at us and laughing like, "Hey, I know, like it's not, that's it's nothing. Regular. Regular. It's regular. I got a tan, bro. Like, look at this, bro. Like, damn, nah, that's crazy. I didn't even notice until you put your shirt up. <laughs> Free me, bro. I probably got a tan. Do I look dark, people? I don't think so. Luffy shirt up. Nah, I can't tell. You got hmm. mosquito bite though. I know. They all the mosquitoes are back, bro. And he's talking about he wanna come on, bro. I don't know, bro. No, imagine how big that bite would be. <laughs> bro, I think it would have died. You got you. Bro, got it it would have sucked the whole <laughs> There you go. He <laughs> looked like a Capri <laughs> All right, people. Well, technical difficulties, my phone died, so we're starting it back again. Uh what do we leave off of? I forgot. I dead forgot too. I was mad as hell. That's that, that just told right. me. He almost ripped his shirt. You should have seen it. I was mad as fuck. I was we going. found the person's name while we was going. Oh, I'm looking to your camera. We found the person's name while we was going. It was uh, Lewis Carroll. Alice in Wonderland. Wonderland's author. By the Jack, Jack the, the Ripper. Jack, who they think Jack the Ripper is. All right. Well, let me think. What is one? Let me see if I have another question we could talk about before. Because I think we're almost at the end of the show anyways. Oh, we talking about the, the dream shit. Do you guys talk about the dream shit? Yeah. Um, I forgot exactly what we were saying, though. We were talking about some shit like that. I feel like... I was talking about this. I be talking about this a lot. I feel like people got, like, superpowers. I don't feel like anybody has superpowers. I like, feel like we were seeing at least one person. You know what I heard? Like, I heard... Like, you know the hair stands up on your... Like, you know when you, like, feel somebody watching you? I heard mm-hmm. that's, like... You know how animals have, like, a... That's our, that's our spidey sense? Yeah. Technically. So you're talking about Spider-Man? Yeah, you... So you have a little bit of Spider-Man. That's like you know how like animals like know when somebody's watching them they run away. No, you don't got that shit, dummy. Let's bring you my wings. Yeah, my the, wings, my rings. My wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's some shit like that because I heard like you know when animals like they get spooked. Uh-huh. It was similar to that. Like that's like, like our animal instincts. That's what it's called. Because mm. you know we technically derive from animals and shit. But anyway, so the last question I got is like, would you rather be able? Would you rather to never be able to die of old age or never be able to die of injuries? Injuries. I I was saying injuries too because I would do hella shit. Yeah, I just I go, cra- <clears throat> go but, crazy. Go crazy. But injuries is means like if you jump off a bridge, you won't like you break bones. You're not gonna die like that. But I think you could die like drowning. That's an injury. No, no? drowning not an injury. I don't think drowning is injury. Like I think so, gunshot- so. Let's say like I jump off a bridge, like and like I break my legs to like obviously I'm gonna break my legs to the point where it's like it's no repair. Yeah. So I'm just gonna be crippled. <laughs> that's a good <laughs> that's the point. I don't really care about it. like like it's getting shots and getting yeah, shot yeah. injury. Okay, so I just wouldn't be dude. I wouldn't jump off a bridge and be an idiot. <laughs> but, but you could like skydive and just like oh damn, you are gonna be paralyzed. Yeah, like I'm gonna skydive and if I fall, you think I'm gonna be fine? I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna die, but I'm gonna be like <laughs> or never be able to die of old age. You know why I, I wouldn't? I feel like. I'm gonna just off myself at the end of the day. <laughs> like, damn, bro. Like, I'm getting old. I can't do nothing no more. And I'm just keep living. Like, I'm gonna be like, ah, it's over, bro. Somebody kill me, please. Hey, yo. Uh, that That's true. Living to 100 is not It's not fun, bro. I don't think it is fun. I have an I, I have a aunt. Well, no, my grandma. My great grandma. My great 
Yeah, my great grandma. She's alive still. No, she died at 101, I believe. Really? But it's like she got to 100 and was like, yeah, nah. Like she didn't like she wasn't like she didn't get sick. Like she literally just like stopped eating. Was like, yeah, I don't want to be here no more. Oh, that sucks. Like I think my great grandma died at like 97. But like she used to smoke cigarettes. Oh, see that's not that's why I don't think that's, she had that though. That's impressive though to smoke cigarettes and live to ninety seven. Bro, she used to she used to know how to use a phone, but she used to, she used to just call everybody. That's impressive. And like she would forget my name. She's like, oh my beautiful great Maurice. Oh, <laughs> no, I think that's where we could end the podcast. <laughs> my, my beautiful Maurice, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Nah, but that's the secret. She was just like, yeah, nah, I'm I'm hundred and one. I'm rich. I'm done, bro. I'm, I don't want to live no more. I just stop eating. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Dang, that's. I mean, she did. What she did all she could, right? What you mean? Like a hundred. Wait, wait. When she die again? Like, like twenty eighteen, twenty seventeen. Oh, so she was like around like nineteen. She lived. Up, she lived through a lot of stuff. That's, yeah, she lived through a lot of stuff. That's a lot My of other stuff. Girl, the one I got a tattoo for. So she also lived through a lot of stuff, but she didn't talk about it. Like, like segregation, she, all that. Yeah, obviously. Segregation, was, yeah. World War One, World War. That's World War One, two. It was, yo, that she lived the World War One and two, yeah. And Vietnam War and this war, nine eleven. She's seen it all, bro. That's probably why she was like, "Yeah, I'm done." <laughs> what happened? I think Donald Trump. Donald Trump was president. She was like, "Yeah, I'm out of here." <laughs> <laughs> what do you yeah. think we like? What do you think we go live through? Like, what do you think we? we, we, already, we yo, we already lived through COVID, bro. <laughs> we lived through COVID. Like we like to think about it. Like we low key lived through a war, but we just we was kids. What was that? What when Af- niggas went to Afghanistan? Uh huh. Like, but we really never knew about it too much. It wasn't like no world war, because I feel like they like. I mean, I feel like these war movies make war seem like everybody was like in it, in uh-huh. it. But like, no, no war was like fought here, so like we would never know like yeah. how the feeling is. Uh huh. But we just like we're just no, living our normal lives. Why do you think no like no war just fought here? Too much, too much uh, firepower. No, that's a simulation, bro. They know they ain't, they ain't gonna let us do that shit. Yeah, I can't wait to say they go, we go to uh, Afghanistan. We fight people with it sweat and sweats and a t shirt. Literally, they don't got no uniforms in Afghanistan. We just fight regular civilians. I heard the, I heard we gave them like weapons. Why would we do that, bro? Everything's all you set know, up, bro. No, do you know Pakistan is like having like a like a, a like not a war, but like a, like a like a like a, a war. revolution. No, like a, they have like a war with like beef with. India. Why? So I don't remember exactly why. But I know they're both they like they both like threaten to nuke each other like every week. <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like all this I think I think war is like a setup for money. Like Tom was saying. It's all it's, it's a cycle, bro. Uh fear. Fear yeah. drives people to work harder it's to cycle, work for a government. Bro. And then especially like when like uh schools like something popular happens like not popular like school shooting something then yeah. it's like oh now we gotta go to war you know i feel like it's, i feel like hopefully i hope there's no big shit happens because like you know how we get into wars like we don't really be in it for real we, until uh-huh. like somebody attacks us i just hope that don't happen now they're already attacking us with the gas prices i ain't gonna lie <laughs> my car yeah. been dying lately but you have anything you want to talk about before i end the show my brother uh not off the top of my head Man, thank you again for another episode. You know what I'm saying? You always make good episodes coming through. You feel me? I think you're one of the, the fan favorites. I, I don't am, know. I'm the fan favorite. Uh, well, I'm the, we'll I'm see. the people's champ. <laughs> yeah, UJ, fuck with me. Hey, man. <laughs> but if you haven't already, follow us on TikTok. Oh, not TikTok. Follow us on all our socials down below. Yeah, all follow us stuff. on TikTok. What you mean? Yeah, follow us on TikTok. What you mean? I don't want to say it all twice. That's a lot of words to say. You want to say it? You want to do the outro? Uh, I didn't learn it yet. Motherfucker. But if you haven't already follow all our socials down below, I'll put Corey stuff down below. Facts or opinion, you want to? You got all this the merch on. You're not even saying. Oh nothing. shoot, yo! Shout out to my dad, yo. Uh, SP and Son, you feel me? His new trucking company, you feel me? We about to take off. Well, he about to take off. Cause I'm not driving it. Oh, you gotta go in the mic. Oh yeah, no, wait, I, I gotta say that all over again. Yeah. Yo, shout out to uh, <laughs> SP and Son, my dad, trucking company, man. You feel me? His new trucking company, SP and Son. This is me and him. Man. You feel me? He got a new trucking company. He about to take off. You feel me? Always buy facts over opinions. You feel me? If you don't got it by now, why don't you got it? That's like stupid. You feel me? Buy no regulars, bro. You coming soon. Oh, yeah. Especially buy the no regulars when I drop. Yo, it's you coming soon, bro. Look at the rings one more time. Watch it, watch it dance. I don't think they dance, but just watch it, yo. Look at the T. You see that? Shit crazy. Represent T neck to the fullest. That's no, it. no, 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 no. I'm not representing T neck. Yes, sir. Yes, no, sir. I'm not. Hey, everybody, like I said, thank you all for supporting us throughout the 
these last couple of months, you know, we've been going up. I always keep telling people, but I don't want to get to the mountaintop because I want to continuously go up. Because you know when you get to the top, you know where you're going. Down. You only go down, bro. We never mm-hmm. going down, bro. We only going up, bro. Always. Always going up. And um, follow us on all the podcasts and platforms, all that good stuff. Subscribe down Yo, below. Join if you the, the Discord, Discord, bro. Yeah, don't don't let Corey say it again, bro. He Word, said, bro. Like, why I gotta keep saying it, bro? And like, what's wrong with y'all? He wants to y'all watching. He wants to argue with y'all, bro. He's y'all been watching, waiting, bro. bro. Y'all, why y'all want to join the Discord, bro? He's yeah, been waiting, wilding. bro. Um, over here arguing with Tom about Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler is Michael Jordan. He oh, been bro. saying that. Jimmy Butler's MJ. Oh, shit, I'm tired as fuck. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. Is it really? Yeah, it is, bro. Damn, we got to get back, back up in the morning. Well, oh, fuck. For work. We ain't going to work, but, you know, no. nobody knows. We shouldn't say that. But, uh, yeah, yeah, edit that out. We, uh, we be working hard. Uh, yeah, we mm-hmm. we the hardest workers out there. What else was, What else I got to say? Oh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe down below, all that good stuff. Like, comment, send to a friend, to send to a friend, all that other stuff. And, Jay, you ready? <laughs> 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 I was my friend. We different than regular regular man. Gangster.